menu control in WPF application. So here I have created one simple WPF application in which this is the window. I given this window name as my WPF app. And in this app, we are going to add a menu control and just navigate to the menu control and you can drag it from here and just stop it. So it will give just the menu name and you can see the window color has been changed because we have added this menu control. Now it's covering the whole window. Okay. So if you want a specific row to be assigned here, then add the rows into this grid. So grid row definitions and inside this add rows into it. Give some auto height to the first row. So it will be by default going into the first row and maybe second row as a proportional height. So when this you are adding this menu, okay. When you are adding this menu, we can just show this in the grid dot row in the first row. Okay, and then inside this menu, we want a multiple items to be added. Now this menu has been moved to the first uh, first row. Or if you want to see by your eyes, then you can just make this proportional. So you can easily see this is this is how menu has been added. The menu control, the currently no items, so it is showing as a blank. But you can just differentiate with the color color window and this uh, menu control window, menu menu control color. Here also you can just make it absolute value to this control, and that way also you can see this one. So here this menu strip, menu strip you can feel this uh, selected. So now inside this menu we want to add multiple menu items so we'll add some standard menus here menu items here menu item and the header the header property we need to give so it will be visible uh, visible on this menu strip so let's say the standard menu is a file and just close this one so you can see this has been file menu has been added if you click on this one this is a file menu item we have added here inside this menu so we can add multiple uh, menu items just copy this one paste so you can see this one so now just need to it need to change the header so second menu is let's say edit and next menu is let's say view and last menu is let's say help so this way we can add multiple menu items menu items into the menu and again if we have a sub menus into one of the menu item then just go here go here in uh, go for this first menu and inside this menu hit enter and add again sub menus here as a menu item menu item the okay, header new file so inside new file you can see now this is uh, this is light rectangle you can feel it here because we have added sub menus here for this first menu first menu item so that's why it's showing it here and you can add multiples into this new file open file save file let's say this is open file and this is a save file and this is a close file so we have to check it if you if you click on it here you can just uh, which part how, how many main items has been covered you can just you can just, just see here now once we added this main items and the main and the main items into it okay you can just uh, see why just build it and see in the runtime how it is looking okay so build succeed now you can just check so at a runtime so at a runtime you can see how it is appearing you see here this new file save file close file has been added here currently we have added, added any command or any click event for this one so it will not show anything if you want to add any click event here let's say currently you are working on the any uh, working on this and uh, you want to add a click event you can add this click, click, click event here so before that you can change the this object name of this menu let's say new file menu new file menu and then you can add it here as a click event so click event so it is giving intelligence to add event handler just tab it and so it will get added here as a new menu item new menu click event so here to check whether the our menu the menu click event is working or no just you can check it here by showing the message box new file menu clicked so we can see here once this will this event will fire then this should run this uh, event handler will event handler method will show this message box dot show that is new file menu clicked because we have added this event for first menu. Uh, 
check it on time how it looks okay so in the in this file menu in this file menu you can see new file and i have clicked in and new file menu